Hey everyone, it's Elaine, and I want to continue with my little series here, What's on My Craft Tables? So, today, um, I kind of have a, I don't know, I guess a hot mess, but what else is new? So let's just go around here first. Um, I just finished this, um, one of the soft cover journals that I had done, remember I had done 20 of them? Well, when I went to pull them out to do my video um, that shows me finishing them up, I realized that on this one, I had not stitched around the edges of it like I had on the rest of them. So I had to pull the old sewing machine out, which, thank heavens, I'm going to twist you around here, hopefully without making you sick. I didn't have to go very far since I have my sewing machines lined up right there. So that was one thing. I did just get that finished, so I can pack that away. Now this, I just brought it in from outside, so I don't want to touch it. I can see that one over there is still a little wet. But I will show these to you later um, when they're finished. But they are cabinet door and drawer fronts. They are cabinet samples. And I get them at work, and I've probably done about 20 of them. And the inside on these is finished. Um, I put cork on, let me get this right. Okay, so this is the outside. And what you can see under this one is that's the drawer front. And on that one, that's the drawer front. So I'd usually turn them upside down so they're this way. I have done them in the past the other, but I like this way best. And I will put some kind of key hook system down here. Now that's a chalkboard. I will put some kind of handle on the side. And usually right on the bottom of the drawer front, I will do some kind of like pull handle. And that's to hold the chalk. And then on the back of the door front, I do cork. And then on the inside back panel, which is why I like these, they come with like on a frame already, I will do galvanized steel. So I've already done the cork, which this time turned out that it just didn't want to stick. But I will do the cork and the galvanized steel. And they are so cute, and I always sell them, and I have to brag on myself. I have never seen these anywhere, any place before. I mean, no other YouTuber, no, not on Pinterest or whatever. When I first did these, it was... I guess a couple years ago now, and um, so, you know, somebody may have copied me, but I have been very proud of myself that I actually had an original idea in this big wide world. Ha, ha, ha. Um, anyway, down here now, I'm working on, I need to paint that frame gold, so I need to take it outside. That's one reason why I brought these in. Um, so I need to paint that frame gold, and then I have this big roll of white paper to cover the contents of the frame. And um, a friend of mine is hosting a retreat and she wants to um, give out the door prizes in deal or no deal style. So it's going to be fun. So I volunteered to kind of put a board together and that's going to be the board that sits, the steps will sit in front of it. And then this is going to be the board where the prizes are listed for the banker. It's going to be fun. We've had a little back and forth about it. Um, and guess who's going to be Howie? Oh, yep, yeah, you got it. So anyhow, I need to still cut out the signs. And then I went ahead and pulled out two wallpaper books that have been given to me a long time ago. I always disassemble mine. It's kind of a chore, but I always get it done with some handy little tools. And, um, and then of course my videoing table has gotten to be a little bit of a mess right now, but hopefully not for very long. And then this, um, I pulled out a journal. I have showed this in the past. It was one that I got at, I think it was Walmart, and I took out pages of it that came out as whole signatures. But what happened then is it left pages in there that were glued together, and they stayed in the book. So it's nice because the book is not too thick then, and I have just about collaged um on every page i think i might have two or four pages left so i'm going to turn that one into an art journal with you know stenciling and everything and then this got started 
I had some ladies over and um, one of the ladies was new and she didn't quite know what to expect and kind of new in all of this. So she didn't bring anything to do. Well, I had gotten this wooden box at Goodwill. Um, I think it was like a dollar forty nine, and then it was that color for the week. So, you know, I got it for about 75 cents. So I knew I wanted to collage on it and I've got plenty, plenty, plenty of napkins and some that I've already torn apart. So let me see if I can do this kind of one handed. So I asked her if she just would do it. So we just painted it a my kind of a pale pink, or she did it for me, painted it a pale pink, and then um, just collaged all around it for me. And so it kind of gave her something to do with us. Um, I'm kind of finishing up some of the spots where she didn't have time to do, and then I'll put little feet on it. And my plan is with that is to take it with me when I go places and I have a bad habit of like setting my scissors down and then can't find them or things like that. So I thought if I could build some kind of container system where I get in the habit of putting my things back, you know, in a cup or whatever inside of that box. And because the box is wooden, I won't have to worry about denting it or breaking it or whatever, hopefully. So anyhow, that's what's on my craft tables. And um, I hope you enjoy this. I um, plan, like I said, to do it periodically. Um, I, I And I probably have said this before too, but I like having all these tables and when I don't have any friends over, I can kind of spread out and let things dry. I have always been horrible about touching something, seeing if it's dried and ruining it and having to start over. So this prevents me from doing that. And, um, like I said, the I, I, I'm really enjoying it out here. Sometimes it's a little quiet, but that's fine too. So anyhow, I appreciate it. Until the next time when we see what's on my craft tables, I hope everyone stays safe and please behave. And I will catch you in the next video. Bye.